Greetings and salutations, my operators, and welcome back to Fake Grand Order. Lost Belt number five, Atlantis. This is the final section. After this, we are done Atlantis, and we'll be moving on to Lost Belt number five, part two. So, let's get to this. Section 26, final showdown, the Hollow Sea God. Our rate of descent slowed down a bit now that we've submerged. But now there's a humongous whirlpool up ahead. This is the underwater equivalent of going out of the frying pan into the fire. We're like frogs in a washing machine. Calm down. Just focus on keeping us steady and going with the vortex's flow. All hands, keep to your posts. Keep an eye out for hostiles. Oh. This is the worst turbulence I've ever experienced. Please tell me this will be over soon. I don't think my stomach can take much more. And there it is. We've got an enormous mass headed our way at 100 knots. All ahead, flank. Evasive maneuvers. Are, are we okay? I need a damage report. How's the engine? Aye, sir. Engine room here. One of the main engines have been busted. I'm gonna have to shut it down to fix it. Got it. Activate the secondary engines in the meantime. Aye, sir. We should reach our top speed speed in about in about 20 seconds. I just finished my analysis. This mass is composed of parts that are 63.8 percent match to those used in Armis. So that, plus our current circumstances, lead me to conclude that it pretty much has to be Poseidon. It just came out of nowhere and slammed right into... What? It just came out of nowhere and slammed right into... Not the most sophisticated attack, but quite effective all the same. And here it comes again! Load torpedo tubes 1 and 2. Let's bu bust this thing's head open. Aye aye, Captain! Torpedoes are loaded and ready. Fire! Ice, yes sir! Firing first and second torpedoes. Confirming two impacts. But it doesn't seem like they had much effect. The target o the target's only getting closer. Ray tubes three and four. Get ready to reload e reloaded. Get the others reloaded on the double. <sighs> Excuse me, can I say something? Those last torpedoes didn't actually hit. All they did was blow up. Explain. I just told you, those torpedoes didn't hit their target at all. They just exploded right before they reached it. So I tried scanning further down. And I found a ridiculously strong magical energy barrier shrouding the thing. That barrier is powered by four, uh, three highly dense energy sources. And why is that highly dense? I mean, each one has a holy grail level has holy grail levels of magical energy. I thought they looked familiar, and I finally remembered why. They're the same as this. Right, the thing Drake took from Poseidon. Exactly, a Poseidon core. That magical energy barrier is supposed to be powered by all four cores, but now that one core is missing thanks to Drake. It's left a noticeable hole. Professor, reanalyze our offensive options with this new information in mind. On it. Da Vinci is right. I'm reading a gap in the, in the defensive barrier towards Poseidon's aft quarter. It's clear we'll have to make use of this gaping hole in our strategy. I know. We'll shoot a bunch of torpedoes into it. No, that won't work. Even if we fired every last torpedo we have in there, it would only destroy his back. Remember what happened with Armis. These things won't stop unless we completely destroy their weak points. In Poseidon's case, that means we'll have to destroy the other cores. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
What are you saying? Do you even hear yourself? We might know that Poseidon's weak points are these cores, but those cores are all being protected by this impenetrable magical energy barrier. So how can we destroy the cores and get rid of the barrier? When that same barrier is preventing us from destroying the cores. There's nothing we can do. It's hopeless. That logic's as circular as a school of... Tilt chard. But it's not wrong. Now I see. Once again, it appears we owe Francis Drake a great debt indeed. Hmm? What are you talking about, Holmes? Well, I'm afraid she took her methods to her to the grave with her. The fact remains that she opened a hole in Poseidon. Do you realize what that means? It means we can use that hole to hit the cores directly, without needing to punch through the barrier. Are you nuts? Now yeah, I get it. You want to use the storm border? Precisely. We're going to get right inside Poseidon and dismantle him from within. A landing operation, huh? Not a very sophisticated plan, but that also gives it the most realistic chance of success. Are you aware of just how dangerous this operation would, would be, Holmes? Indeed. I expect it would be a fiendishly risky endeavor, with very little room for error. But it is, but it is far from impossible. Besides, it's the only option we've got. Yeah, you're right. In war, death is an inevitability. You can't win without shedding some blood. And the ones who go in first always end up paying the heaviest price. In this case, that would be me, my ship, running aground, followed by the soldiers disembarking from it. Even if they succeed at destroying the enemy base that way, it leaves them stranded with no way to come back home. Captain. But as sure as my name is Captain Nemo, I refuse to let that happen. So I'm not running around aground, or leaving the battlefield, or abandoning any soldier to die. Poseidon might be the ruler of the sea, but we're the raging storm that treats it like our plaything. Play General quarters, all hands, brace! Once we evade Poseidon's next hundred knot charge, we're going to grab onto his stern. Um. Can you be a little more specific, sir? Isn't it obvious? We're going to fight collisions with collisions. Yay! I love pirate warfare! There you have it, Barrel Draco. We're going to do whatever we have to do in order to get on top of Poseidon. In that, I pres In that, I presume you mean to break through the hole in his magical energy barrier? Right. From there, we'll be racing against the clock. Are you ready, Da Vinci? You know it. You, you can't race the clock without something to race in, after all. Exactly. Besides, it was always meant to be a landing ship, right? Oh, Gordy. What, what, what is this? Why are you talking so sing songy to me all of a sudden? Oh, nothing. I just thought you might want to start stretching now, is all. Huh? Okay, we're ready. Marines! Engineer! I'm expecting nothing but the best nautical skills from all of you. Remember, even a single second's delay could cost us our lives. Aye, Captain! Don't you worry. It might be our, a lot flashier looking now, but this bad boy's still our Nautilus. The engine room's all good to go. Anything you want done will get it done no more than a second. That's the spirit. It's a sonar! Poseidon's heading our way again! And he's still cruising along at 100 knots! Keep going. We're going to charge straight in, without fighting the Vortex's current. But, but, won't we end up colliding with them head on if we do that? We're going to make an emergency dive right before impact, and evade him with a meter to spare. That's crazy! One minute to impact! Evasive maneuvers in 30 seconds! Only 30? Looking at the numbers, it should be just enough. Any sooner than that, and Poseidon will catch on to us. Start the countdown, Marine. 
50 seconds to impact. 40 seconds. 35. 34. 33. 32. 31. Now, load the main ball ball ballista tank. Emergency dive. Aye, aye, Captain. We've got a topside collision. Dan's report. Nothing to worry about. It looks like he just scratched the tail fin. Good. Now come to a, now come about 180 degrees. Lines up with the current. We're going to make our way onto that hole in the magical energy barrier before Poseidon can turn himself around. Aye, sir. Coming about. Are you sure about this? This should be substantially easier than India. All you ha need to do here is hit the ground running at full speed. I wish I could share your op optimism. The hairs on my arms have been standing on end for what feels like ages. I've got a terrible feeling about this. It it's alright, Director. We know you can do this. Well, I suppose I we have made it this far. Indeed. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't steal the spotlight right at the end. This is the storm border. We just made it through the hole in Poseidon's magical energy barrier. I'm about to eject the shadow border. Are you all ready? Hang on, just give us a moment. Can you do this, Cordy? <laughs> Show us that phoenix spirit. <sighs> I don't know if you're trying to pressure me, but will you stop looking at me like that already? Oh, the hell with it. Whatever happens, at least it'll be better than sinking and drowning. Alright, I'm ready. You wanna see the driving technique I honed in the Safari Rally? I'll show you the driving technique I honed in the Safari Rally, damn it! We're ready, Captain. In fact, don't wait any longer. My courage is fading more every second. Get it. I'll eject you right now. Fly, Shadow Border. I'll handle everything up to the landing. After that, it's all up to you, Gordy. I know, dammit! Come on, tires! Don't slip on me now! I refuse to tumble to my death by accident after coming this far. Cool. Undercore. Caster and Archer. Ooh, I have on. Yep. Hassan's gonna die if I send him out, so... <laughs> there! I'm picking up the signal of another Poseidon core. Just keep going straight, Gordy. I know that. Hmm? There it is. That's one of his cores. Look out! Yikes! That was too damn close. Hmm. So he does have some manner of defense system in defensive system in place in the event that his interior is breached. Though they were clearly designed quite hastily. If not outright sloppily, their aim is all over the place. I see. He must have scrambled to put something, to something together after Francis Drake made off of one of his cores. Sloppy or, sloppy or not, those things would definitely kill us if they hit us, right? Damn it all! Bill Draco, Shielder, what do you think you're doing? Get out there and get your asses to the core already. It doesn't seem to be all that far, so it shouldn't take you too long take you long. Come on, get going. Master! Alright, let's go. Yes, get going! I'll come pick you up as soon as you've destroyed the core. Right, please wait here until we get back, everyone. No humble substances detected outside, and the air circulation looks good, too. The mana seems to be at Age of God's level concentrations, but that shouldn't be a problem for you, guys. Let's run for it. Right. 
Activating Ortonex now. Here goes. Intruders detected. Intruders detected. Mobilize defenses. Mobilize defenses. <gasps> Let's keep going. Away your orders, Master. Uh, doing this so late was a bad idea. I should have done this in the morning. I'm like really sleepy right now. <laughs> God, Admin. Oh boy. MP per turn, damage up? <laughs> One crosses the starry ocean. Increase damage against power of the star? Uh, well, we should be good for against that then. Because I don't have Da Vinci or Drake with me. Hmm. We have one Orion card. Probably not good enough to really go all in. Okay, let's just build up quick stars then. Okay, Ryan still has four. Okay, awesome. That's a good card. This is a good, uh, damn. Alright, and pop the problem with this thing. Here at the end. Okay, Ryan's at 100 percent now. We are out of cluster cards. Oh, we didn't debuff anyone, so that's a plus. I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's get Ramos' MP up. And we'll go into a run script. And we have one turn left for buff. So it really depends on if we can get uh, a buffer card next turn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god. You know what Really got yo. Okay, uh, I don't need to use crit stars for Romulus. Okay, hopefully it's just. Oh, nice. Chance for invincible. Oh, it's annoying. Oh, my crit stars! Ugh, that's not even good. Just good hand here. Oh, well, that makes things difficult for me. Oh, no, Mm. Really should get like a mono the Pearson Mystical card on Ah, there we go. So we're relying purely on Orion then.
Uh, when he rides and he get pierced invincible. Oh my God. You little me. Alright, let's run with this up. Actually, let's go back. Give Ramos the boost. Just so I can hopefully get rid of the archers. Oh, we are so damaged. Yeah, a lot of damage. Oh man, Ryan's real close. Uh, okay, might be actually better for me just to pop up this skill. Yeah, we already have 100% damage Uh, let's pop. Evade on him just in case. Oh, we got a hit. Oh, we got a Oh, god damn it. That's that sucks. Ah, this guy hurt. Nani, Nani, get him out of the way. Let's get him out of the way. Let's get him out of the way. Oh, I can't make them Roman, so that sucks. Yeah. And Pierce Invincible, and hopefully kill the core. Artemis, some of the power you cast to me, you and I will not win. Artemis, Artemis, let's go! Okay, let's get the old defense team now. Okay, that's fine. Merlin has served his role. All we need is Romulus. Okay, didn't realize that's happening. Next turn, huh? Oh, no. Let's finish it. Power room. What did I know? There was Smithy Pudo. Smithy Osaki. Smithy Osaki. Is there a sort of Karapani Saimo? Peru Aspirado. Yeah, that had me worried. Alright, two more cores and then Poseidon. That's one Poseidon core destroyed. Come on, get in. We still have two more left to go. Right. Hang on. Should you be out there helping them? In a minute. I'm still recuperating here. Don't be ridiculous. Your office is a picture of health. Not every wound is visible, you know. Oh man, it hurts. Wait. Don't tell me you. Hold that thought, Director. We need to head to the next core. Master! I'll go out, out to the Shadowbor's roof and keep it, the Orknax engaged. I'll go with you. 
Yes, that will be for the best. I'll, I, as I expect, you two will be the enemy's primary focus. L locus of attack? Why is that? I'll tell you on the way. Now let's get going. Hmm. Alright. Such a core. Assassin Lancer? Ah, uh, it's gonna suck for Orion. Suck for Orion, but at least Merlin has the shot. Damn it, Steeler. Maintain defensive position. Hold on. Oh, things are going. Things are get are about to get bumpy. Right. Attack target, Francis Drake. Attack target, Francis Drake. Mobilize defenses. Mobilize defenses. Mobilize defenses. Mo kill, 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 kill her dead. Incinerate her. Leave no trace of her corpse behind. <gasps> Are you okay? I'm fine. The Orthodox is still good to go. They're really focusing on you. I expect Poseidon's estimation of your threat level has gone up considerably now that you've destroyed one of his cores. I advise you to keep that in mind, and expect that the next core will be even more difficult than the last. Understood. Let's go, Master. Initiating defenses. Initiating defenses. Target Francis Drake. Alright. So it's going to be tougher than last. Especially with the... Lancer enemies. Oh. Oh no. The stupid thing. I hate it. Wow, that's not even a good hand. Okay, let's pop up Charisma. And, uh... Start... NP gaining. Great debuff move. Fantastic. Alright. Do I have enough stars for himself? Yeah, definitely. Mostly this is enough just to get rid of the Nihilator. I just don't want to deal with it. No, actually, I don't need to do that. Start with Roma and then go into Orion. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're done with that. Cool. Now we got some folks on surviving. And there goes Roma. Alright, let's start. Okay, never mind. Gotta get back out of here. Pop up illusion. It's just like. Is he just like firmly debuffing you now? Alright. Just gotta worry about buff block. I don't know if, if that's gonna happen. Oh my god, we're losing all of us. And he seriously gimped up Merlin's MP game grade. Okay, what's the best move here? What's the best move here? Merlin to Romulus? 
I think it's 10 from. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Ramos has a key ready. Oh, and he has cards. Cool. Okay. I think I like more hold in my hold because I'm like getting stuck in weird places. Oh my god, no crits. Oh my god, just constant P down. And we lost our defensive buffs. Great! That's great! Fantastic! I love it so much! Mm. Ah, who do I want to live? Okay, you got two Hassan cards. Probably best just do a Merlin chain, get more stars. And NP, because that's our only way to get NP right now. Buffed again. Really? I bust for one turn. Oh my. He's not one? I am offended. Okay, what's going on, break? Maximum HP down. Okay, what do we have here? We got an NP coming up for our base. That's fun. And Merlin has no defenses up, so he's probably gonna die. Well, at least we can take off the last R while he has an MP up, so if he has a boost, fine. Alright. <laughs> Nikutai He's still a goddamn attack! 
Uh, yeah, that's what I know what to do here. I keep Orion alive somehow. Do I have any more boost? I have one boost left. I will use it. God damn. Uh, out of stars, out of boots. Out of defenses. This is the last thing I can do here. Oh my god, no crystal. Uh, we're dead. We're just dead here. It would be nice if all those crits. Oh, I literally just need one more crit. God. Mm. Uh, okay. Try again. Ugh, just li literally just need that one other crit. Oh, we did enough damage to finish that fight. Uh. Hmm. So. This. Probably isn't pulling us to wait. Probably just bring us the carp, honestly. Okay. Let's see how well this goes this time. Yeah, that's actually the core. Okay, we have one Orion. Uh, I don't think that's enough damage if I pop all my. I'll try, but I don't think it's gonna be enough damage if I pop all the. Star here. Romulus, do you know what we are Okay, let's go. Not very well at all. Oh, crap, did. Awesome. Uh, 
お望みのものですからそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうではい。Oh, damn it.、Uh, I didn't notice the p r o b l e s Hmm. Eat on the mama. Just lose Merlin Chain it. God damn, we have I have nothing left. I don't want to lose a Ryan, but I also don't want to lose Merlin right now. r o m l e s doesn't have anything. I think I was dying here. Yeah. So the best move to be is to be Buster Avalon to Buster. Oh, now you crit. Well, it certainly isn't fantastic. Alright, let's try to build matches MP, I guess. Try to get the pens up. God damn it. Really just ruins everything, huh? I don't really have anything here. Why is there like something for clearing NP down debuffs as a command code? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does not. It does not damage the murder me straight up. Uh, I don't think Azrael's gonna save my ass. Does it count the vine? Oh my god.
Oh, survive another turn. But for how long? Probably not much. We still have another bar. Yep, this might be the ball next to uh, this run. Yeah, and the flying lost. <sighs> like I was so close during that first run. It literally was just one crit away from winning. <sighs> I can't turtle it. Can I? No, the NP down's too heavy. Also, the only other character that has more than one arts card is Romulus. Take up that. What would be a good utility CE here? Mm. Uh, I really don't know. Because right now it's only seven arts cards and a deck of 15. That's under 50%. Huh. Which I guess isn't terrible, but definitely not ideal. Huh. And no one has like another defense buff. Man, this is only the second fight, too. Uh, there's still two more fights. The other core, and then Poseidon himself. System. All check. And no Arts card. Fantastic. <laughs> Just fantastic. You'd love to see it. <sighs> nah, I'm just gonna focus on the core. Can't play do it right now. <laughs> yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. If I pop invincibility, 
Then pop Rom was his invincible. Oh, it's like still alive last time. And then if I do target focus on Nash. I guess we just go Romless, Merlin to Nash. Okay, now what do we do? Camelot into Guard of Avalon, back into Merlin. いいと思う。死ね。凍結展開。これは多くの地。多くの願いを受け付けそうな城。壊せよ。燃えるな。燃えるな。そこは壁もなく城もなく。And it's probably like a, a two turn strategy for this. Which I probably do, do, can do, do, can do too. Okay. What can I do? Game really fascinating over cards. Okay, so we'll just ramble oh. it up, I guess. Alright. Let's see how well this goes. Yeah, we expect that too much. Ugh. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Just what the F I needed. Buff block. I just need to use that to just get rid of it. Okay, what do I do? Don't think. Making massive targets gonna help. Oh, backward. 
And I'll sink again. Yeah, I got nothing here. And we're dead. That's... that's not helpful. Yeah, this run, this might be a, uh, this might be a failure run here. I'm gonna have to like, warts up. Definitely have to get rid of the large scale annihilator first. Oh, I should. Quick card. No code of. Very tempted just to end this battle. I. Yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time now, and then I'll quartz it up. Oh man. Just don't have a strategy for this. We're so close the first time. Okay, let's try this again. Da -da -da -da. Uh, hmm. You can mash a star bomb when she comes in. See my bear for that position. All right. All right. Last attempt before I give up. It's only the second one. <laughs> I know it's possible because we got so close to killing it the first time. It's very RNG heavy, I have one more bed. Okay. All in on Orion, I guess. Just want to get rid of the Annihilator. ゆめの道行きを進んでいる。さあ、行きなさい。祝福なんて呪いみたいなもんだぞ。狙いを定めて。ゲームを呪いみたいなもんだぞ。おいおい。はい、ホップ。ホップ。ホップ。ホップ。
Nine percent chance of crit. Why is it constantly missing? Right, the debuff. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I hope the next fight's easier. At the very least, the next fight shouldn't have the buff locker anymore. Hopefully get rid of the Poseidon core. Ugh. Okay, try to build up MP for Orion as fast as possible. Okay, this is. Uh, nope, this is actually pretty bad. Start quick with this stars in. God, if it wasn't for the stupid buff blocker in the first turn, I could actually save my skills. This makes it so frustrating. Okay, so the whole line's gonna die. And he, Orion doesn't have any more buffs. Probably better getting them. Use them now. Save them for later. Might as well get that attack buff from uh, Ramos at least. Okay, I don't even know if we'll rank it to survive the attack turn. No, we're dead. We're dead! Okay. I give up. I am too frustrated by this. Wow, it's even a bad hand. Man! What's his turn? Just build up crit stars and NP? Like, Mash can block for a turn. That doesn't really do much. 
I mean, he saves Merle now, I guess. Okay, now what? Defense up for against divine. I feel like he started running that for everyone. Let's look up. Although I don't even know if I can tap it. Yeah. Okay, I have nothing. Alright. And we have nothing. I'm more dead anyways. Using the NP's not gonna do anything different. Yep, and that's up. <sighs> up. That's the one. That's the fail. Okay. We have 20 stars. We're going to Ryan. Let's just let's just finish this time. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. We were so close the first time, and then we lost it. Oh, すべてを先、すべてを開く。いずれ空の空張に冴えも、エルオスプラードアスプロ。ワンが宿命、月女神に恋願う。肉体に合力を、精神に冷徹。アルテミス、アルテミス。やったぜ。アルテミスいないよな
Capture Francis Drake at all costs. Capture Francis Drake at all costs. How can such a machine make a mistake like this? It just goes to show that computer boats can strike anywhere. All right, that's as close as I can get. Thanks, Director. We'll take it from here. Let's go, Master. I can sense even even stronger energy coming from that core compared to the others. Watch your su wait. Servant rings incoming. Your Drake, Francis Drake. This is the true face of Poseidon. A factory ship designed to renovate planetary environments. His primary objective was, was the renovation and oversight of marine environments. Though of course, as you can see, he is now nothing more than a, a, the Great Pit's Guard. That said, he still has some semblance of sanity remaining, right up until Drake took one of his cores. Kieran. How good to see you again, Master of Proper Human History. Kiron. Oh, I'm surprised to see you are still alive, Jason. Well, no matter. The fact remains, I am the last soldier tasked with defending the Sea of Atlantis. Achilles really handed your horse, horse ass to you, didn't he? From what I hear, not even dying was enough to stop him from gi giving you a hard time. Indeed, it was quite the embarrassing spectacle. Regardless, this is the last bastion between you and Olympus. Neither of us have the luxury of turning back now, even if we wish to. And while we're on the subject, let us not forget that I killed Achilles, and you lot killed Odysseus. So what? You're saying we're even now? Hardly. I'm saying that any chance we may have had for a peaceful rec rec reconcil reconciliation has is long gone. I'm Kiron. I swore to my comrade Odysseus that I would defend Atlantis with my life. Now come at me if you dare. Well said. Then let's sell this once and for all. Good luck you two. Jason? I'm rooting for you. That'll be a, that'll have to be enough. That's good enough for me. Right, sorry about that, Captain Jason. I understand the situation now. Don't worry, we can handle this. Between Master Barrow Draco and myself, we're ready and willing to bring this Atlantis campaign to an end. How about you? All right. Oh god, they both have break bars. Oh god, and it's dying course of Lancer. This whole strategy got this shit. Uh, okay, Romulus would still have one more Buster card. Chance of drawing that, probably 50%, but we wouldn't have enough stars for it. Do I ignore Kiron then? I mean, I, he does have bonus damage, so I guess. Okay, everyone's Roman. Yeah, let's go all in on Ramos, I guess. Let's get the first bar off. Mm. Okay. Oh, so close! Damn it. 
Shield. And he's invincible now, great. Well, at least we got that going for us. And of course, we got the last missing uh, Buster card. Fantastic. Uh, we don't have Pierce Invincible, so I shouldn't use anything big. Might as well get rid of Karin, I guess. Oh, it guard against Roman? Great, guts. Fantastic. And my buffs. The hell did I even do? Just plus damage? Okay. Okay, now we have only Orion. Uh, don't really want to go in on it. I don't know how much he recovers in guts. Hmm. That did not give me what I wanted. Well then. Alright. Let's see how far we can get here. Yeah, miss. Miss. Oh, and mine's eye, fantastic. Oh boy. Wow. Invincible and evade. I can't do jack all. Someone's dying this turn. Might as well protect our Ryan. Oh, that was a one turn thing? A one hit thing? Okay, who's getting hit? Oh, that's not. Smash should be able to kill above. Nope, never mind. Did not have enough boots. Wow, that was real low damage. Yeah, Orion's dead. Man! Another failed run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Why am I damage so low? Done. Well, the 
bright side is that they didn't give me all match cards. As it's so prone to do. Downside is he has really heavy star weight. Man, could hit Mash again. Wait, she... two turns? Jeez. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, get off, save the Buster. You killed And this. No Of course. Buster. Well, better pop the guts. Man, I have no idea how people solo with Kansan. Because you run out so fast. Yeah. Like, maybe I should have done arts or quick, but. Oh, random tempting trick. That's nice. Uh. Yeah, I'm just doing courts. I'm I I'm really tired. I I just go bad. <laughs> Can I do enough damage to kill the core in one turn? Feel terrible about how you use quartz to finish this off, but yeah. Don't really see a line of how I would win that. Rebooting, impossible. Target elim elimination, impossible. Logic unit, inoperable. Weapon control systems, 99% destroyed. Rebooting, rebooting, rebooting. System error, rebooting, error. System purge, impossible. Backup systems, inoperable. Francis Drake, lost. Emotion unit, morale, ethical, safeguards, inoperable. Setting distress signal to Olympus, error. 
damage sustained to all units over 90%. Unit connection system error. CPU overload. Induced freezing. 618 seconds. Time to complete system failure. 100 seconds. Da damn you, Calda. Damn you, humans. Damn you, proper human history. Body destroyed. Time to total shutdown. No, gods can't die. Gods can't die. Gods can't die. That's one hell of conniption. But it looks like it's almost over. Searching memory unit. So, this is it. But how did I lose? No. How did you all win? With money! You should have never even had a chance. We have met you in every possible sense. Not just in numbers. We, I'm certain we were far stronger than you. True. I get where you're coming from. I can't speak for the other times, but while Heracles might have had taken the Cerberi on his own this time, the rest of the servants never could have beaten them without getting up and fighting them all at once. Even Achilles wasn't at his best, thanks to his heel being shot. I'd say Orion was the closest thing we had to a decent fighter. That only makes the question more urgent. How did you do it? That's the thing, Chiron. There is no clear answer to that question. All we had going for us was our will to succeed. We were determined to win no matter what, and we swore to keep going on even when things seemed hopeless. You lot, on the other hand, had everything going for you. It was almost like you'd been preparing for a wholly different enemy to show up at some point. And above all, you had the peace of mind of knowing you were on the side of the gods. From where I stand, I say that I say that was your side's biggest failing. Hmm, I'm not sure I buy that, but I suppose it is one way of thinking about the issue. I see you're still just as much of a sore loser as ever. Hurry! We just got a transmission from Nemo. That was a great frontline operation. Well done, all of you. But I'm afraid the celebrations will have, have to wait. As I suspected, Poseidon's whole body is starting to break down now that his cores have all been destroyed. So you need to get back to the storm border as soon as possible. I'll hold back and wait for you as long as I can. I'm, I'm just dead. Let's hurry, Master. You too, Jason. Hmm? Oh, no thanks. I'm good here. Besides, I'm exhausted. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. The next time you stone me, make sure it's nothing like this whole mess. Ugh, I'm seriously exhausted. I'm never doing this kind of thing ever again. Go on, get out of here. Let me get some rest already. Jason! What? Can you let go of me now? Besides, you have a boat to catch. Thank you. Will you stop it already? I've heard more than enough praise for one materialization. Go on, shoot. Jace, Master? I'll see you again someday. Ugh. I seriously thought I was done for. <laughs> I never would have guessed that you are even closer to death than I am. How did you fool everyone? Some stupid woman sent me a useless mystic code that's only good for making you look like something you're not. Well, I guess it did turn out to be more useful than I th expected. Is that what you used when you were devising your plan of attack? Sure was. I bet it made me look like a real accomplished tactician to them, too. 
They had no idea I was actually sweating bullets the entire time. I see. Fascinating. I never knew that heroes who refused to rely on the gods required such desperate measures to maintain their reputation. Ugh, just shut up or shut up and die already, would you? No. While death would certainly be merciful release from this pain, I've already suffered an enough defeat. So I think it would be much more interesting for you to teach me, your ostensible teacher in proper human history, a few things before we dis disappear. Ha! And here I thought you didn't have a sense of humor. I still have trouble conceiving of a world devo devoid of gods. Are humans truly able to survive in such a world? Sure they are. You yourself taught them a whole bunch of things about living life without any gods. Not that I remembered more than half of them back when I was alive. It seems our ways of, ways of life are just too different. You can say that again. That said, it looks like neither of us will die with any regrets, don't you think? Yes, you may be right. You know, now that you mention it... Yeah, I kind of thought there was going to be, like, one more fight against, like, the Poseidon main unit. So... oops. Mash Curialite and Bear Draco were ret returning from battle. Good! Then let's go! Wait, where's Jason? Isn't he with you? Jason... I think Jason deserves to rest now. I see. Well, I suppose he did overexert himself a tad. I mean, he was only a third-rate servant to begin with. I can't say I blame him for wanting to rest. Very well. Permission for leave granted. Now let's head back to the storm border. Come on, come on, come on! There! I see it! I'll guide you there. Keep heading right into the storm border's docking bay. Drake. Curse. Human. Zeus. Atlantis has been breached. I'm afraid the rest is up to you. Alright, let's go. I know we've lost a lot of good servants, but we still got something valuable. We've made it this far alive. Quite so. Every hero we encountered on this journey had to sacrifice themselves so that we could reach this point. The option to rest in peace beside them is not one we can avail ourselves to of. Let's go. Right. Hmm? Is it just me, or is there an odd sound coming from the ceiling in addition to the floor shaking? Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Glances. Wah! Water! Whoa! My apologies for interrupting you when you all appear to be having difficulties with your vocabulary. But it would seem now that Poseidon is gone, the magical energy barrier holding back the seawater has gone with him. Captain, if we don't do something soon, I'm afraid that the water is going to collide with the ship's dorsal section. Alright, prepare to fire anti-ship missiles. Entering data now. 
Our target is Poseidon's hull. We need to destroy him as soon as possible so we can brace for descent. Target the missiles far enough away that the detonations won't harm us. Ah! So much shaking! Both the ship and my stomach! Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> All we can do now is hope for the best. There! He's collapsed! Begin descent! Master! Give me your hand! Mash! Come on! We're finally almost to Olympus! Uh, we're falling! I don't want to die! Don't worry, nobody's gonna, going to die. Well, this might hurt enough for you wi to wish you were dead. That's not reassuring at all! Is everyone alright? I'm okay. All hands, status report. This is the engine engine room. Of course we're okay. I'm the one running this joint, remember? Professor here. Everyone in the second division is fine, too. Though I did bump my head something fierce. Hi there. This is this the lovely... Oh, well. This is the lovely lunch lead down in the cafeteria. Everyone's yummy food is still nice and yummy. Uh, I'm alright too, though I dare say I haven't felt so intoxicated in quite some time. Hey, hey, computer room here. I say, um, hang in there, I guess? I don't think I'm malfunctioning or anything, but I'm feeling kind of tuckered out. I'm fine too, and so is Fo. Fo! At any rate, we have, at long last, arrived at our destination. The home base of the fifth loft belt. This is where Kiris Taria Wooddime, leader of the Cryptors, awaits. See for yourselves, though you may find it difficult to believe what your eyes report. He's so shocked he fainted. Not that I can blame him. It really does feel like we've wandered into the land of the gods. So this is the interstellar city, interstellar mountainous city. Olympus. She entrusted the Shep Chaldeans' lives to the sea as the first of their gods. She took advantage of her own cursed body to cause havoc among the enemy forces. She fought back as hard as she could, even if it meant discarding everything but her ability to kill. He accomplished in death something he never managed to manage in life, bring hope to the world. He never stopped running, even after his crippling wound. He answered a summon to buy them just a bit of time, and in doing so, gave them hope. He vowed to do everything he could to help his trusted friend. He chose to sacrifice himself to help them without a moment's hes hesitation, because it was the right thing to do. He loved the moon, and brought her down to save her. He saw everything, fought for everything, and saw everyone off when he was done. And in the wake of all their great deeds, there is now nothing and no one left in the sea. And so, Atlantis was breached. What awaits Chaldea now is a grand, glorious, subterranean city. Atlantis surmounted.
Hmm. That shining star up in the night sky. That's got to be the Chaldean ships. Ha! Huh. You see, I told you they'd make it here. I'll admit, I was a little worried. But I always trusted they'd pull through. I'm so proud of them. Nope. I can't do it. That's a little too much fake cheer, even for me. I wish I could, I could go meet up with them now, but it's just not that simple. Not when this place is even more brutal than Atlantis. I knew we would be in for a tough fight when I got here, but this, this is still way worse than I, I was expecting. Oh well, it's not like I've got any other choice now. Alright, since this hideout looks to be deserted too, I think I'll go check out the next one. Magnificent. Ha! Stop that. You might not be from my country, but you're still a god in of the forge. It's embarrassing having you judge my work. That spear of yours is what makes it is what is so magnificent. A true blacksmith transcends good and evil. All they seek is to create. I wouldn't know anything about that. All I know is, now that I've been summoned, I've got to make what the customer wants. Even if what I make ends up being used to, des to destroy my own world. Are you unhappy about that? Does it matter? I've got a job to do as a servant. So what's so that's what I'm go gonna do. End of story. Besides, you've got your own troubles to worry about. It's not like you planned on my cutting you down being a catalyst that you, that got you back in working order, after all. I was originally going to be destroyed, Miramasa, and you protected me. My Atlantis self logic led him to side. Oh god. My Atlantis self logic led him siding with proper human history. Now I'm choosing to side with Olympus. But even so, I would still like your help. Fine. As long as it's something I can do. Yay, Fragment of Twin Star. And a Grail? Where'd the Grail come from? Uh, and that is the end of Atlantis. And next is Olympus. Uh, sucks I failed the, the last two battles, though. I was so close in the second one. I was just too tired to finish the last one. So, hopefully in Olympus, I can actually get the right RNG for the boss fights, so I don't have to quartz it up. Uh, but until then, thank you everyone who joined me today, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.